Second, black man, so hard to be able to what? And I know yeah, the blasphemy! Blasphemy, what does that mean? You know what that means? Blasphemy. I can't hear you, bro. You gotta speak up. You a man, speak up. We here for you, man. Yeah, I know. You think he wants you. Blasphemy. Well, all I know about blasphemy is he wants you to be happy. I stepped in here, you bro. You got music going. And you know, I know, I got you, I got you, come on, and come on, 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 we were explaining to you what blasphemy means, all right, read again, I know thy works, and tribulation, come on, and poverty, Christ says he knows your works, and tribulation, and your poverty, because you go to work, you got a job, Nkosi, yeah, you got a job, CJ, I'm about to work, okay, you're a God on this earth, that thus saith the Lord, you shouldn't be working, Especially not on God's Sabbath day. But that's besides the point. You shouldn't be working. God says, I know your works and your tribulation. I know the Eric Garners. I know the Philando Castells. I know, I know plenty of the Hispanic children that got shot down in Uval. I know your tribulation. I know that I see it going on. Read. But thou art rich. He says, but you're rich. Why does Christ say you're rich? Can you pull out a million dollars for me right now? Because Jake that. can you pull out a million dollars for me right now? So it's not talking about physically rich, it's spiritually rich. Why? Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Blasphemy means lies. 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 The Jewish man lies and says that he's the Jew. You black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Jew. That's right. You are the Jew of the Bible. He said he knows your tribulation, sister. He knows what you go through in Kosi. He knows what you go through CJ. But he said you're rich. Why? Because rulership, the kingdom of heaven, belongs to you. And you're right here busting your back, nine to five, for pennies, when everything belongs to you. That's right. Everything. This blood belongs to you. This world belongs to you. The sun, the sky belongs to you. The sky belongs to you. But yet, you're pushed to the bottom of society. God says you're rich because heaven belongs to you, black man. Right. Everybody, man, read. And I know the blasphemy. I know the lies, read. Of them which say they are Jews. We're not calling each other the Jews. Because we're just finding out that we're the Jews. So we're not openly calling each other the Jews. But one people is the so-called Jewish man. God says he knows his blasphemy. He's lies. White man, you are a liar. Right. Thus saith the Lord. What else does he say? Read. And or not. He says they're not the Jews, read, but are the synagogue of Satan. The Bible said that. I didn't say that. Christ said they're the devil that the Bible speaks of. Because he pretends to be you and benefits off everything that you do. Right. You get pennies. I'm you get nurse. treated like garbage, sister. Why? They've abased us. They've made they turned our sisters into whores. Right. And they put that off on us to continue the cycle. Right. We don't marry right. our sisters. We don't love our sisters. Hell, we don't love ourselves. Right. That's why when we see this image right here, we say, no, nah, that can't be. I was taught white Jesus right here. That's what I was taught. When I pray, my prayers go to that man. But God just said that man is the devil. Yeah, right. You pray to that. So therefore, when you pray to that image, you show how much you hate yourself and you hate God, especially if you're breaking God's Sabbath day. Right. But God says the seventh day. See, when is the seventh day? What day? I got super paying attention. What day is the seventh day? Saturday. Wait. I heard you say, go ahead, say it with confidence. Saturday. Let me show you something. Go back to Psalms 82 and 6. I'm going to show y'all something today that you've never heard and you won't hear in the Christian churches. You won't hear this in the Christian churches. Sister, I want you to listen up. See how rich and pure your heritage is. You're the Jew that the Bible talks about. That's right. We're God's chosen people. Right. But yet we choose to deny that and want to be in our sin. The Bible says, women, stop wearing pants. Men, stop cross dressing. Right. Get in order. That's an abomination to God. Right. If you go to church on Sunday, you are not worshiping the God of this Bible. Right. God says the Sabbath day is the seventh day, which is Saturday. If you go to church or worship God on any other day, you don't love God. Right. And that's the rule that does Watch this. If you are a child of God, sister, you need to come over here. You need to learn your history, sister. That these people, as a nation, 
not going to teach you what you want. We're not going to teach you what you want. And that's why God got your brothers up here telling you what you want and who you are, how great you are. That's why God got the men of God today standing up against the law. Watch this. Black man, Hispanic man, listen up. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Listen up. Bring it up. I have said, ye are God. The Bible talking about you, brother. God says you are God. That's right. You are God. Black man, Hispanic man, you are God. Man, if man, you are God. And if you come from the nation of God, which they make you sister. Royalty. Right, right. Royalty, that's what you are. Right. right. The world beats us down and calls us niggas. The world beats us down and calls us African-American. Right. Calls us black. We've right. been demoted to a color. We've been demoted to a color and a crayon box. Right. And you are the greatest thing on the face of this earth. Read what you got. That's right. Listen up. Listen up. This is for you. Read. I have said ye are God. The Christian church is not teaching you this. And they won't teach you this. Read. And all of you are children of the most high. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of God. That's you right. are the Jews. You are God's chosen. Read. But ye shall die like men. Because you live like men. You live like sinful men, like the so-called white man, like the so-called Asian man, like the so-called Arab man. You live like them, you gotta die like them. You can choose their ways. Second Corinthians 6 and 17. Y'all listen up. If you do not repent of your sins, come out of Babylon's ways, you will die. Thus saith the Lord. We are out here for you. We're out here for you, CJ. We're out here for you. Right. Second Corinthians 6 and 17. Listen. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter 6 and verse 17. Three. We're four. Come out from among them. Stop assimilating amongst these people who hate you. They will go and they will mass murder you. They will mass murder you and plead not guilty. Thus saith the Lord. Hold that. Come back. Glad that you are God, brother. This is it for you. This is it for you. But yeah, no. Suck it. Read that. Read it again. That's who you are. Watch this. God says associate yourself and you're going to be restored. Associate yourself and you're going to be broken in pieces, brother. You got to come out of that sin if you're dealing with that woman, bro. You're dealing with her. You got to come out of that. Read what you got. Well, God, come out from among them. God does not want interracial marriage. God says, come out from them. Come and learn who you are, sister. Teach your kids the royalty that they are. Don't just walk past it. Sisters has got the devil destruction coming to this place. She so said, you know your tribe? You know your tribe? It don't matter. Read this. Well, God, come out from them. Come out, bro. Read. And be ye separate. But y'all love the white man. Y'all love the white man. Oh, we get the benefits. We get the food stamps. We get everything from them. Oh my God, they take care of us. God says, come out from among them. Right. Read. And be ye separate. And do what? Be ye separate. Say the Lord. Come on. And touch not the unclean thing. The white man, the Arab man, the Chinese man, it's the unclean thing. They teach you women to color your hair. They teach you guys to color your hair. They teach you to destroy your image. You are made in the image of God. You are made in the image of God. You are made in the image of God, black man. They teach you to purple your beard, black man, because you want to touch the unclean thing, because you want to be just like the white man. We used to scream black power while hair on was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.